Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, Tezzerat. One, two, three, four. So we Tezzerat drain you. We Tezzerat drain you. We Tezzerat double drain you? <laughs> yes! 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 Triple Tez ultimate kill! <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. And it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So this week, we are continuing one of my favorite sub-series on Against Odds, which is our quest to play every Planeswalker tribal deck possible. And we've gone through a lot of them, but not all of them. So today, we are heading to our new companion-free, or at least companion Companion Light Modern format for Tezzeret Tribal, one of my favorite Planeswalkers. And before you ask, I know what you're thinking, wait a minute, did we have a standard poll last week? We did have a standard poll, and it was Vadrock plus Chance for Glory that came out on top. And we will play that next week for Against Odds. The problem is, Wizards pushed back updating the ban list on Magic Arena, so we didn't actually have the ability to play with the new ban list. So rather than playing it with the dead standard format, I figured push it back a week, pick up Planeswalker Tribal, play some Tezzerets, and next week we will Vadrock Chance for Glory. So anyway, let's talk about Tezzeret Tribal, jump into some games, see how all the Tezzerets do when we mash them together. So our Tezzerets kind of come in two parts, and we are playing every non-Planeswalker Tezzeret in existence, and even some Planeswalker Tezzerets. So first we have our support Tezzerets, and if you look at Tezzerets, all Tezzerets care about one thing, which is artifacts. They're all artifact-based Planeswalkers. So Tezzeret the Schemer, Seeker, and Artifice Master, these are our support Tezzerets, because uh, they all make artifacts in one way or another. Tezzeret the Schemer makes Ethereum cells that we can use for mana. Tezzeret the Seeker tutors for artifacts from our library, and we got a bunch of powerful one of artifacts you can find. Tezzeret Artifice Master can make Thopters. They all do other things too. Tezzeret the Schemer, our removal Tezzeret. Tezzeret the Seeker can make a bunch of five fives and win the game with one big attack. Artifice Master can draw cards, but really their main purpose is to get a bunch of artifacts on the battlefield to support our finishing Tezzeret. So our Tezzerets that actually win us the game most often are Agent of Bolas, Tezzeret Master of the Bridge, and Tezzeret Master of Metal. So the thing that all these Planeswalkers do, in one way or another, is drain our opponent equal to the number of artifacts we have. So some combination of these Tezzerets allow us to essentially burn our opponent out of the game. We're almost like this weird Tezzeret burn deck. So those are our finishing Tezzerets. So the top row of Tezzerets make artifacts. The bottom row of Tezzerets uh, benefit from those artifacts to burn our opponent out of the game. And this is a very simplistic explanation. A lot of the Tezzerets also like make five fives that we can use to beat down, drawing us cards, generating card advantage by finding artifacts from our deck, but that's the core of our deck. So to make this plan work, we gotta speed it up a little bit. We have Pented Prism Mindstone to ramp into our Tezzerets, because all of our Tezzerets are four, five, or six mana. We're playing modern, a little bit slow to do that naturally, but like Pented Prism on turn two can get us to most of our Tezzerets on turn three, and then, even though it's gonna be out of counters, we can make it into a five, five, start beating our opponent down, playing defense to protect our Tezzerets' loyalty. Astrolabe doesn't technically ramp us, but we have a bunch of colorless lands, uh, utility lands in our deck. So Astrolabe allows us to get away with playing those and still have good mana, and it makes a good 5-5 beater. Otherwise, we have a ton of utility artifacts for defense, engineered explosives, executioner's capsule, ensnaring bridge can lock creature combat out of the game, and since all of our Tezzerets are pretty expensive, there's a risk we won't be able to get empty-handed. Bottle Colster <laughs> lets us exile our hand on our opponent's upkeep, which is when our opponent would be attacking us, so we'll have zero cards in hand for Ensnaring Bridge, but then on our turn, we get to draw an extra card, so we actually generate card advantage to find more Tezzeret, so that's kind of our combo with Ensnaring Bridge. Otherwise, we just get a bunch of random artifacts. Welly Jar protects our other artifacts, Nile Spellbomb for Graveyards, Pithy Needle, kind of utility against Planeswalkers, other activated abilities, Throne of Geth to sacrifice our random useless artifacts to add more loyalty to our Tezzerets to ultimate quicker, Crucible of Worlds lets us play lands from the graveyard, kind of a weird ramp spell, Trading Post utility, and then Possessed portal. This is our backup finishing plan. Since Tezzeret the Schemer makes Ethereum cells, Tezzeret Artifice Master can make Thopter tokens, we can get out Possessed Portal, and Possessed Portal makes it so if a player would draw a card, they would skip it, and then at the end of each player's turn, they either have to discard a card or sacrifice a permanent. So basically, it slowly eats away as everyone's resources. Well, if we have a Tezzeret on the battlefield, we can make a resource to sacrifice every turn. Ethereum cell, a Thopter, our opponent's gonna eventually lose their entire board, we just keep sacking these 
useless tokens, so eventually that will win us the game, and then we can just go on the Tezzeret beat down our ultimate plan. So that's a sweet backup plan. As far as the rest of our deck, our only non-artifact, non-Tezzeret's, couple of fatal pushes, couple of thought seizes, mana base, mostly about fixing our mana, but we have some sweet utility lands as well. Academy Ruins to get artifacts back from our graveyard, Dark Steel Citadel is a great 5-5, five, five. plus it tutors well with Tezzeret the Seeker. We can zero it to just ramp, which is very powerful. Karn's Bastion for more proliferate, Field of Ruin, and Ghost Quarter to attack our opponent's mana really good with Crucible of Worlds. As far as our sideboard, non-artifacts, we get Dead of Winter is a sweeper for aggro, Mystical Dispute is a counter for control, and then a bunch more artifacts, Chalice for combo decks along with Dampig Sphere and Witch Bay Norb, Dragon's Claw really good against Mono Red, more Graveyard Hate, Weldy Jar for more protection, another sweeper at Engineered Explosives, and that that is Tezzeret Tribal for Modern, and that's our against odds deck for this week. So let's jump into some games, see if all the Tezzerets can work in the Modern format. Thanks for watching, enjoy the video, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed today's deck, make sure to purchase it from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. For a limited time, you can get a Scoop Soldier sticker for free if you mention Scoop Soldier in your order notes during checkout. I uh Against the odds time, we are playing Teferi Tribal in Modern, and uh, we're going to have to mulligan that one. This one, this one we will keep. Uh, yeah, we'll put Welding Jar to the bottom, but, I mean, technically we have Ramp and Teferis, maybe? Polluter Delta Goo. See what our opponent's up to. Unfortunately, these are the expensive Teferis, so we don't get a turn three Teferi necessarily. Breeding Pool tapped. Uh, all right, untap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's our other expensive Teferi. <laughs> we would have preferred drawing a cheaper Teferi, but that's okay. There's still time. I mean, I guess we're in the somewhat enviable position where lands are good draws and cheaper Teferis are good draws. Random utility spells, not as exciting, but opponent. Misty cracks it. Steam vents. Undept. And Renin six. All right, that's annoying. So, things that are not good draws include Fatal Push. <laughs> that is that is not on the approved draw list here. Opponent, Cracks, Misty, add. Snow-covered island. Goes back to the land. Uro. Sure, sure, sure. Well, this would be a good turn to draw Blue Source. Blue Source for a Teferi is what we would really like. Well, I guess if we're not going to draw Blue Source for Teferi, a Teferi something. Teferi. Or Tezzeret. Why do I keep saying Teferi? I'm thinking of the core set. <laughs> we'll take an Astrolabe to the bottom past the turn. Well, we'll see. If our opponent's working towards Scape Shift, that could be that could be a problem. Opponent's going to crack the Misty. Snow-Covered Island. Untaps. Oh, we have so many, so many Tezzerets. Can we cast them? What if it fails? Opponent cracks it. That's a lot of mana. Snow-Covered Forest. Tarmagoyf. More Tarmogoyfs. All right, so Tarmogoyfs for days. Gets back a land. All right, we draw a land. Hmm. So I think we... Ugh, I think we got to wait. I think we got to play Astrolabe. Draw a card. Ooh. Play Pithing Needle on Renin 6. Play Polluted Delta. Fatal Push Tarmogoyf. Astrolabe into a 5-5. Five five. Well, that was a good turn. That was a good turn for the fairies. And there are more to come. Hopefully. There's many in hand, that's for sure. Scalding Tard for our opponent. Goes to combat. Passes. Hmm. Well, take up to fairy. Tazaret. Tazaret, I mean. Get a. Hmm. Darksteel Citadel. Play Darksteel Citadel. Crack Polluted Delta. Snow-covered island. And, yeah, I mean, we're going to cast a Tezzeret. Please don't cryptic us. Tezzeret? Resolves. Tick it up. Drain ya. Pass the turd. Pass the turd. Whew. Things are looking up. If we get to untap with... <laughs> with Affinity Tezzeret, that would be pretty decent. Opponent untaps. Misty Rainforest. Opponent goes to combat. What is our opponent's hand? Why are they not doing anything? Passes. I'll play Polluted Delta. Crack it. Snow-covered island. Tezzeret. Number two. Or three. Opponent remands. Um. 
Tezzerat. Oh no! Counter into counter? This looks like a cryptic. <clears throat> Opponent gets a snow covered eyelid. Cryptic. Well, add a mana. Astrolabe. Draw a card. Tezzerat. One, two, three, four. So we Tezzerat drain you. We Tezzerat drain you. We Tezzerat double drain you? <laughs> yes! 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 Triple Tez ultimate kill! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. That is that is a Tez drain. We only had four artifacts. Four artifacts altogether. And that was enough with three Tezzerats. Oh, that was beautiful. That is that is the Tez Dream for sure. So opponent, I don't even know what they're doing. Teamer mid range, teamer teamer something. Well, Nile spell bombs in, pithing needle in, go down, the throne of Gath, go down, bottled colster. Too risky, too risky against a deck that can bounce it with cryptic. Um, crucible's fine. What else are we gonna cut? Is there anything else we want? Mystical Dispute also is probably needed. Mystical Dispute in. Go down. Ugh, all right. Go down Possess Portal. Ugh, I really want to get someone with Possess Portal, but it seems like it just might not be, be in the cards. <laughs> uh, maybe Trading Post and one ugh, Mind Stone. Let's, let's try it like that. It's hard to cut too many artifacts because our Tezzerets, which I called to fairies for half of that match really need artifacts to do anything huh well that's a lot of lands i think we gotta mulligan that all right this is less lands we will put a i guess six mana tez to the bottom this is fine opponent miss your reinforced passes we would like to draw lands though this is fine if we draw lands uh snow covered swamp and thought sees you oh boy that's a lot of counters. That is a lot of counters. Um, hmm. I'll take Uro, I guess. I guess we're just gonna have to play through the counters. <laughs> uh, so that means our first three Tezzerats can be countered. That's not ideal, opponent. Land passes. Can we draw some lands? And Snaring Bridge. That's not a land. Well, Snow Covered Island go. Opponent plays a land. Can we draw a land? No. Oh, boy. So we have <laughs> every Tezzerat, almost, but no ability to cast our Tezzerats. Opponent plays a land, passes. All right, so we get a land, play it, crack it. This does mean we kind of get to start casting things. Ensnaring Bridge, part one. Counter it if you want, opponent. Counter it if you want. <laughs> There's not much we can do about the counters other than just jamming our stuff. Opponent has a braid all right so still has a handful of counters land they're getting close to this uro come on land wow we literally <laughs> we literally got them all we we got five we have five different tesserets i guess we're missing planeswalker deck tesseret but yeah found it gonna draw some cards <laughs> oh we we actually have more tesserets than lands which is not even though we're tesseret tribal that's actually not ideal Opponent plays a Tarmogoyf. Well, we will Fatal Push Tarmogoyf. Oh, please, lands. Please, please, please. Opponent lets it go. This means Uro's returning, too, which is bad. I guess we should have waited till end step, honestly. Yeah. Opponent Uro's. Yeah, I guess waiting till end step would have been better. Definitely would have been better. Well, we draw land, but there's an Uro. Well, <laughs> okay. Tezzeret, I guess. There's Force of Negation. Uy. Yeah, and this one I believe <clears throat> this one I believe is over. We can scoop it up. Uh, so the timing was a slight pun, but it's not really the reason we lost. Our opponent still had the counters, still had the Uros. The big issue is we drew all of our Tezzerats and none of our lands. Well, all right, run it back. We get to be on the play. Maybe we should have kept that seven lander. Maybe that was actually. Maybe that was actually the way to go. Just keep the, the all land opener. All right, we'll keep this. Um, Let's just watery grave tapped past the turn. 
Snow Covered Island for our opponent and Surf from Visions. Opponent passes. Um, play Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Misty Rainforest. Opponent passing. Well, Crag Polluted Delta. Watery Grave Part Two. Untap. Huh. Now let's Field of Ruin and Ensnaring Bridge. Pass the turn. Okay, Snow Covered Forest and Quaddle. This would be a turn where our opponent tapping out would be pretty nice. If our opponent taps out here for like an Uro, then the odds of us resolving Tezzeret go way up. Tarmogoyf. Okay. And Misty. Opponent gets and hits us. Now let's see what we draw. Tezzeret. Well, Prismatic Vista. Crack Prismatic Vista. Play, uh, get a snow-covered island. Uh, Tezzeret the Schemer. Make an Ethereum Cell. Pass the turn, pass the turn. The Ethereum Cell also means that we can trigger Revolt on this Fatal Push and kill Tarmogoyf if we need to. I think we wait till our opponent's turn, though. Force of Negation is still a thing. Opponent. Thought Scours. Hmm. All right. Yep. Mills a bunch of lands. Prismatic Vista. Opponent goes to combat. Wow, just going face? All right, sure. Down to 13. Opponent passes. Well, we will play Pentad Prism. Ghost Quarter. Pithing Needle. Opponent cracks. Uh, name Renin 6. Make an Ethereum Cell. Hmm. I think we go for it. One, two, three... Four, Tezzeret. All right. Counters Tezzeret, bounces Tezzeret. All right, so we're back down to zero Tezzerets. Pass the turn. Oh, we're so close to the ultimate. Snow covered forest. About it. Going to bounce Ensnaring Bridge. Okay. Goes to combat. Well, let's. Fatal Push Goyf. Whoa. All right, so opponent's got it all. Veil of Summer. Okay. Uh, we might be dead. Opponent hits us. Well, opponent had all the answers in a half. We go to eight. We untap. We play a l uh, We play Ensnaring Bridge. We play Snow Covered Swamp. We play Tezzeret. We make an artifact. We pass the turn. All right. Well, hopefully they don't have another way to bounce our ensnaring bridge. Uh, then we would be either immediately dead or very close to dead. Astrolabe. Ooh. This turns on things like a braid to get rid of our bridge. And grow the goif. And turn on, like, lightning bolts to make us die. That's actually a really big draw for our opponent. We're leaning hard on this bridge to keep us alive. Yeah, Veil of Summer was a good one for our opponent. Opponent draws a card. Misty Rainforest. Uh-oh. Cracks Misty Rainforest. Mystic Sanctuary. Gets back Cryptic Command. Yeah, I'm really not a big fan of Mystic Sanctuary. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, so, we will play... Well, we know our opponent is cryptic, so we, we're just dead, right? Huh. Pithing Needle. I think we're just dead, though. Bounces Tezzeret, counters Pithing Needle. Well, we replay Tezzeret. Opponent has Force of Negation, pitching Remand. Well, all right. If this ends with our opponent being able to deal with our Ensnaring Bridge, that is the game. Counters for days. Uro for our opponent. Going to draw a card. Ay 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 ay. Well, one thing we've uh, learned about modern post companions is there's a lot of counter spells these days. Lots of cryptic command decks now that companions are not a huge part of the meta. Tezzeret, do you have more counters? The answer appears to be new. No. All right. Tezzeret resolves. Drain ya. Pass the turn. Well, we gotta hope our opponent just whiffs, basically, on getting out from under this bridge. Pwn it. The bad news is, Mystic Sanctuary, hmm. I'll oh, play Astrolabe. Draw a card. Play, actually, let's take up Tezzeret. Drain our opponent. Tezzeret. 
we will pay. But we don't have enough artifacts to kill it? Ugh. This goif keeps growing. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, definitely not. Well, make an Ethereum cell past the turn. But our opponent gets to Mystical Sanctuary to get back Cryptic. And bounce our Ensnaring Bridge. It's not lethal, but... Oh, they don't get to do that. Interesting. Royal Scions. Okay. That doesn't by itself beat us. Loots away a Renin 6. Passes. Well. Play... Tezzeret? Oh, I keep over-tapping like crazy. Okay, last card was Force of Negation. Well, we will... Take up Tesseract. Drain you. This is it. Pass the turd. We gotta fade one more turd. One more turd. Come on. Come on. Come on. No answers. No answers. No answers. Loots. Discards a bull. Do they find a way to get out from under the bridge? Or is the master of the bridge? <laughs> Archmage's Charm draws two more. Do they find it? They play a land. They crack the land. One more. Can they find the answer? And we got the GGs. The Master of the Bridge. Combined with the Bridge. Tesseract Tribal. Whoo. Whoo. Wow. All right. That was, that was sweet. That was definitely sweet. Definitely a little scary against these cryptic-y, bouncy-style decks with Braza Borrowers and Cryptics, because they can bounce the bridge, but... Oh, well, Tesseract Master of the Bridge. Getting the job done. Hmm. Interesting. We'll dig it. <laughs> Tesseract Tribal. Sweet, sweet. Alright. Against the odds time, we are... Hmm. I guess we keep this and hope we draw some ramp. I mean, we got Tezzeret's, and Tezzeret's a secret is a good Tezzeret. But we are Tezzeret tribaling in modern. I realized we've played almost all the current Planeswalker tribal decks. Based on our three non-Planeswalker uh, non deck, printing's rule, I think we're down to like maybe two Planeswalkers left that we haven't done, so uh, we need we need more Planeswalkers, I guess. Although they do keep replenishing themselves. I think, honestly, the one I'm rooting for hardest is a third Tibalt, because I think Tibalt Tribal would be hilarious. It would probably be super bad, but I think it would be fun. So, Wizards, if you're watching this episode of Against the Odds, uh, give, us a, give us a third Tibalt so we can do Tibalt Tribal. I think, what do I know? I don't think we've done Chandra Tribal, although that's what I've been delaying because because I feel like it is most likely going to be a Blood Moon Mono Red Prison style deck. Like, that seems like the, the obvious way to go with... Oh. Well, we will take the one that draws cards and hope that we can survive the one ones. Hopefully our opponent does not draw more ninjas. Opponent, combat. Hits us for one. Sure. Down to 16. This is a matchup where getting empty-handed and then ensnaring bri uh, resolving bridge would be really good. Fairy Seer. Opponent's going to get to scry pretty deep for a ninja. Fatal Push would be a solid draw. But yeah, Chandra's on the list. Um, Karn, technically, although that would lend itself towards Tronning. <gasps> Urborg go. Well, we'll see. If our opponent has a ninja here, it's going to be bad. And I assume they did, because they could have scryed more, and they left a card on top. I don't know what else you'd leave on top. Eh, all right, no ninja. Polluted Delta. Maybe our opponent just wanted to land. Cracks Polluted Delta. So opponent has Fairy Seer and one unknown? Hmm. Are we going to be fast enough? Opponent gets to scry. Two cards on top. Uh-oh. Uh, well, Prismatic Vista. Crack Prismatic Vista. Snow-Covered Island. Play Tez. Take it up. Get a engineered explosives. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is about the best card we could hit. I mean, if our opponent could ninja here, it's bad. But otherwise, that is basically a hard wrath. Land for our opponent. Well, we'll see. What's that last card? Opponent combat. Hmm. One at Taz, three face. Okay. Well, is our last card a ninja? 
We don't actually have an answer to a ninja here. Yeah, looks like they got it. Ninja the Deep Powers? Oh. Big Daddy Ninja? Fallen Shinobi, okay. Alright, that's uh that's worse. Well, let's see. We untap. We play Ugh. Astrolabe. Yeah, I don't know how we deal with this. Fallen Shinobi. Draw a card. Engineered explosives. X1. Yeah, that Fallen Shinobi is going to beat us. That is, That was a good one for our bonnet. Well, Engineered Explosives, X1. Sack it. Well, opponent goes to combat. What do they steal off the top of our deck? The answer is... Oh, a bridge. We really wanted that. And they have snow. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. Well, they're not going to play the bridge, but they get to draw a card. And a thought sees. All right, so our out here is draw land, resolve Tezzeret, tick down Tezzeret to get our second ensnaring bridge. So we stop getting hit by this fallen shinobi and then trust that we can deal with the random dorks. Oh, if we had one more turn before our opponent found that shinobi, we would have been golden. With our uh, with our explosives, but might be a might be too slow now. Also, we've drawn a lot of expensive stuff and no ramp. I guess that was the risk when we kept the sand. Four lands and everything else four plus mana can definitely go very wrong. Opponent takes a trading post and plays Mist Syndicate Naga. Well, that's a land, so polluted delta. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, it does work. We don't have to crack it. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Tezzeret. Tick down. Ensnaring bridge. Pass the turn. Wow, this is so ridiculously close. Opponent. Combat. Do they go face? Do they go Tez? Going face. So we go to one. Yeah, gets a copy. Fairy Seer. Opponent passes. Well, zero Tezzeret. Get a land. Play... Pentad Prism. Play Bottled Colster. Pass the turn. Hand goes away. Oh. Well, if the bridge sticks, we're safe for the moment. <laughs> At one life. Cryptic, if our opponent's playing it, gets them out from under this. I guess our next step is try to play... Wow! Wow, they scoop it up! Whoo! Whoa, 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 whoa! All right. Well, Colster Bridge, getting the job done. Well, now we get to bring in two Dead of Winners. Uh, bring... Uh, go down Piffing Needle. Actually, we can Piffing Needle Ninjas, right? Hmm. We definitely want the Explosives. Wilding Jar feels bad. I don't think they can kill artifacts. If they can deal with them, it's going to be bouncing them. What else is just straight up bad? I guess we can bring in the Chalice. Like, if we just free roll into Chalice on one, that seems decent. I guess we can go down. Let's go down Possessed Portal. Maybe the Possessed Portal dream is just not ever going to happen. Uh, go down Throne of Geth. Go down Crucible. Go up Mystical Dispute. And... I kind of want one more Mystical Dispute. Let's go down... Yeah, go down Nile Spellbomb for Mystical Dispute. Try it like that. Wow, that was ridiculously close. Nah, I mean, that is part of the power of Tezzeret. And that's why Tezzeret the Seeker, in specific, is very good. Eh, okay. Well, Ramp, Mystical Dispute, Tezzeret. Unfortunately, Mystical Dispute, Ninjutsu is not a... Is not a casting of a spell. So we can't Mystical Dispute... The random ninjas. We are going to have a lot of snow lands, though, so we can potentially, if we find Dead of Winter, just Wrath. And Tezzeret can get Bridge. Again. Alright, opponent goes to six. Polluted Delta. Cracks it. Watery Grave. Untapped. And Fairies here. This is where things get scary. Ninjas just snowball so hard, the card draw ones. And Mr. Dispute not fast enough on the draw. Put it. Gonna do some scrying. One on top. Well... Oh. Snow-covered island go. Well, we'll see. See how many cards are drawn by the time we can do anything. Opponent. Yeah, here comes the ninja. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
So opponent gets to start drawing an extra card every turn, which is pretty bad for us. Well, Snow-Covered Swamp and Mind Stone. <laughs> More Tesseret the Seekers. Well, we'll see. Not feeling super great about where we're at, though. Opponent. Maybe we should leave in the Pithing Needles. Or bring in the second Pithing Needle, just for ninjutsu. Opponent, one on top. Goes to combat. Gets it. Draws a card. Hits us. I assume our opponent's digging for lands. Well, we're Thaw Seizes. All right. Well, this would be turn to draw Fatal Push. That would be our our best draw here. Takes the Mystical Dispute. We draw Pentad Prism. Well, we'll cast it. Play Snow-Covered Eyelid. Well, next turn we get to play a Tesseret, but I, I'm very worried. With our opponent taking the counter, it feels like our opponent... They could even have another ninja here and just draw a new hand. Polluted Delta goes to combat. Hits us. Cracks. Snow-covered island. Oh, is this another? Oh, boy. All right, so opponent gets to draw four cards. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough to beat. We go to 12. Well, our main hope is to get empty-handed and hide behind a bridge, although our opponent probably has answers by now. Force of Negation is the most obvious one. Well, okay. Thought sees you. Force of Negation. Play Field of Ruin. Play Tezzeret. Tick down. Get a bridge. Unfortunately, our opponent still gets to get in this turn and draw four more cards. So if they do have answers in their deck now, odds of finding them pretty good when you're drawing that many extra cards a turn. Scalding Tarn. Opponent cracks it. I don't think we're dead this turn, basically no matter what. Opponent gets in, gets in, kills Tez. So opponent draws many, many cards. Yeah, that is how ninjas snowball. That's the reason to play him. So opponent's drawn just absurd, obscene, obscene amount of cards. Opponent, discarding a hand size. Well, Prismatic Fist, uh, Tezzeret. Opponent has Counter Squall. All right, past the turn, we are at six. Oh, opponent, Spectral Sailor. Well, if they have the big ninja, we're dead. They can ninjutsu it in, and we are... We take exactly six. Attacks, attacks. Oh, they got it. All right, well, that is that is the ninja snowball. Oh, if there's good news, it's that we get to be on the play for this game. And that was... Let's bring in the Pithing Needles. I think I think it's worth it, honestly. We'll go down a Astrolabe. Run it like that. All right. Well, we're on the play. So close. So, so close. We get to play first. This hand we will keep. For sure. 100%. Uh, so. Snow-covered swamp. Pithing Needle. Ingenious Infiltrator. So none of those shenanigans, opponent. None of that. Gonna have to play it fair. And the... Bad news for ninjas is, when they don't get to uh, draw a million extra cards, then they're playing a lot of really underpowered creatures. So if you can fight the card draw, it becomes a lot harder for ninjas to do anything super meaningful. Well, play Astrolabe, draw a card. Polluted Delta, go. Opponent. Snow-covered island, goes to combat. Attacks, sure. Well, you take one, opponent passes. Ooh, hmm, interesting. Um, Snow-Covered Island. Explosives on one. Pass the turn. Well, now things are looking up. Opponent untaps. Drowned Catacombs. Goes to combat. Gets in, hits us. Down to 18. Thought sees. Well, there goes our Tezzeret. I guess we kill the Fairy Seer. All right, well, more Tezzerets, please. More Tezzerets. Oh, what if they're the big ninja? Do we just lose? I guess we mostly do. Oh, watery Grave tapped. I don't want to blow this explosives, though. It's actually awkward, because we blow up our pithy needle. I guess we got to hope they don't go land into the big ninja. Opponent, combat. Gets in, hits us. Down to 17. Tezzerets. Snow-covered swamp. Go. Oh, come on, Tezzerets. We need a Tezzeret. Pwn it. Combat. Gets in. Hits us. Wow, they drew Ninja of the Deep Hours. All right. All right, all right. Ponent. 
Drew the, the one that usually doesn't see play, but that's unfortunate. So opponent going to go back to drawing extra cards. Well, this is our turn to draw something. If we're ever going to draw something, this is this is the time. Opponent passes. Well, play Polluted Delta. Tezzeret. Opponent has Mana Leak. Well, if they also have Force Negation, that would be rough. Snow-Covered Island. Mystical Dispute. Come on. No Force. No Force. Oh! Wow. All right. Uh, and now odds of us winning are incredibly low. Opponent. Boy, we did lock them down, too. They randomly had Ninja of the Deep Hours. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, mathematically, this is a little unfortunate. The most, well, that's not a bad draw. The most popular builds of ninjas do not do not play Ninja of the Deep Hours. Maybe play it as a one of. Now we'll see. We got a bridge. That can buy us time at least. We need Tezzerets though. Dark Seal Citadel, go. The good news is we can stay empty handed very easily, and I don't know how many answers this deck actually has to ensnaring bridge. Now play Astrolabe. Draw a card. Polluted Delta. Gil. Opponent adapts. If they can find a way to bounce bridge, it goes pretty pretty poorly. Oh, opponent scoops it up? Okay. Well, I will say that Pithy Needle probably saved us. <laughs> Not the most intuitive uh, sideboard tech, but technically Nijitsu was an activated ability, and our opponent had two ingenious infiltrators. So that turn one Pithy Needle, I think... We're almost 100% to lose if we did not have that. Thankfully, we did have it. We shut down the infiltrators. And then our opponent's deck must not be built with ensnaring bridge in mind. And I mean, eventually we will draw and resolve Tesserets. Like sooner or later, we're going to make it happen. It will happen eventually. And uh, and yeah, well, win's a win. Taking down the ninjas with Tesseret Tribal. Sweet, sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing... Tezzeret Tribal in Modern, and well, we got Tezzerets. We don't necessarily have the mana to cast them yet, but Tezzerets themselves are in hand. And I guess in theory we will draw the mana eventually. Let's start on Thoughtseize, see what our opponent's doing. Force Negation, Abrupt Decay. Well, we'll take... I guess we take Force Negation. So opponent's sticking on the Companion Plan, even with the, the rules change. Uh, opponent... Misty Rainforest passes. Ramp would be nice. Well, Tezzeret Agent of Bolas. That's not ramp, but we'll play Executioner's Capsule. Pass the turn. Come on, lands! Come on, lands! If we draw lands to cast this Tezzeret Agent of Bolas on time, things, uh, things are looking good. We got rid of the Force Negation. Opponent going to Watery Grave. Tapped. So it looks like our opponent's playing Five Color Control or something. Plays a land. Passes. Land? Ex oh. All right. Well, engineered explosives is not especially helpful, but we'll run it out. Oh, please, please! If let's just go land, land, land. Three lands in a row. Cast all these tesserets. Do fun things. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we need. Opponent breeding pool untapped down to sixty. I'm gonna run out the omen to draw some cards. Oh, they're gonna abrupt decay. All right, that's fine. Well, give us lands or give us death. Opponent. Snow-covered forest runs out an astrolabe, and runs out a Renin six. Well, if we draw land, we probably win this game. That is it. Do we draw land? We do. All right, polluted delta. I mean, I guess there is some slight risk that our opponent could have drawn another force negation, which would ruin everything. But one, two, three, four, Tezzeret. Turn on Executioner's Capsule. Kill Renin 6. Pass the turn. All right. More lands. More lands, more Tezzerets. More lands, more Tezzerets. Opponent plays a land. Cracks a land. Snow-covered island. Gets their Yarion. And passes. Oh, wait. Fatal pushes our capsule. All right. Let's draw a land. Let's draw a land. Opponent passes. Land? Prism. Well, take up. 
get a Darksteel Citadel. That works. Play the land. Play Tezzeret. Make a Thopter. Pass the turn. All right, the Tezzerets are stacking up. The Darksteel Citadel was clutch. Opponent plays the land. So they can Yarion, but all they're getting is an Astrolabe, which is not super exciting in the face of multiple Tezzerets. And may <laughs> maybe buy a box Tezzeret in the future. Phone it. Royal Scion, sure. Gonna do some looting. Discards Field of Ruin. Yeah. And passes. We draw Crucible of Worlds. Hmm. Alright, let's draw cards. Play Ghost Quarter. Play. Well, let's. Hmm. Let's tick up Tesseract. Get a Welding Jar. Play Welding Jar. Play Crucible of Worlds. Play Ensnaring Bridge. That gets our opponent to crack. Mystical Sanctuary. Okay. Force of Negation. Do they have a way to draw a card? Okay, they have the Omen of the Sea. So opponent gets to draw a card, which means they get to draw the Force of Negation, which means they get to counter the Ensnaring Bridge. Pitches a Royal Scions. Well, go to combat. Attack Royal Scions. Pass the turn. Is it Yarion time? Steam Vents. Untap down to 12. Oh, they drew another Astrolabe. All right, so opponent's actually... Actually drawing the perfect cards to make this Yarion good, that's for sure. I guess that is impressive in its own way. Tamps a bunch of mana, loots. Well, we'll see what we find. Yarion, going to blink. Yeah, so opponent's going to get to draw three new cards, which, pretty good, pretty good. Mystic Sanctuary is quite the magic card. Oh, and they d discarded an Uro. Well, that's good for them. So opponent refuels their hand. Ooh, Tezzeret the Seeker. That I like. Um, let's think about this. We play Pentad Prism. Oh, they probably have Cryptic, though. How do we do this? Alright, let's play Prismatic Vista. Crack Prismatic Vista. Get a Snow-Covered Island. Play Tezzeret the Seeker. Tezzeret the Seeker ticks down for Ensnaring Bridge. Pentad Prism resolves. Take up for a Thopter. And then drain you? Oh! I think we got there. Tezzeret's! It took three, but that is the power of Tezzeret's. Get them artifacts! Stack up the disruption and eventually win. We even had the fourth one in hand. Well, that was that was a good uh, a good Tezzeret game, huh? So opponents playing control. So I think we want Pithing Needle. I think we want Mystical Disputes. I think we go down. Execute. We go down Fatal Push for sure. Go down Fatal Push and go down. What else can we cut? Explosives actually does offer some value. Like blowing up all the stuff they can blink with Yarion. Maybe we go to an Executioner's Capsule? That leaves us without any real creature removal, though. Eh, alright, try it like that. I think that's fine. Well, that went pretty well. Yarion being a turn slower was a pretty big deal for the Tezzerets. It is pretty sweet how all the Tezzerets tend to feed into each other. Like, some of them make artifacts... Others benefit from having a bunch of artifacts. So if you mash them all together, they actually generate a lot of repeatable value. Actually, let's go Let's go down one Ensnaring Bridge and up one Nile Spellbomb. More Graveyard Hate seems good. And I expect if our opponent can, kill in, uh, can deal with Ensnaring Bridge, it's going to be by bouncing it. So it's not the most guaranteed way to keep it going. Eh, alright. I kind of like this hand. Potentially going to get wrecked by this Colster, but opponent... Astrolabe. Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, we will... Yeah, it's just Snow-Covered Swamp. And also Astrolabe. Draw a card. <laughs> I love Trading Post. Trading Post is one of my favorite cards. It's, I don't know if it's actually that good, but... Oh, I just... I love Trading Post. Ponet plays land. Passes. Well, Prismatic Vista. Crack it. For a Snow-Covered Island. And run out a Prism. Ooh, Resolves. I like that. 
Well, we'll see. We can potentially just start casting Tezzerets. I mean, there's risk. Our opponent can obviously counter them. Opponent. Royal Scions. Ooh. Hmm. Lutes. Discards a Drown in the lock. Oh, I think we go for it. We play the lad. We crack the lad. Snow-covered island. Tezzeret. Please no force of negations. Tezzeret X1 gets a pithing needle on the royal scions. Pass the turn. All right. Well, threat one dealt with. Opponent. Undepths. We are in bolt range. And our opponent does have a lot of colors in their deck, so they could have... Who knows what they could have? <laughs> we've seen... We've seen just every color. It's clearly at least four colors. So opponent gets a breeding pool. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. All right, well, we'll grab a snow-covered swamp. That's actually kind of fine. Takes up Royal Scions. Well, we will... Zero Tesseract. Get a Welding Jar. We will play... Pithing Needle on the Royal Scions. We will play Snow Covered Island and Trading Post. And pass the turn. Tezzeret the Seeker's been doing some work. Uh, opponent. Ooh, Ashiok. Alright. Going to bounce the Pithing Needle. Uh, we'll discard a Prism for now. Ha. Huh. Royal Zions loots again. Now we got two Planeswalkers we got to deal with. That's annoying. We don't have a creature to sacrifice at the moment. All right. Our opponent passes. Ooh, we draw good Tezzeret. Well, play good Tezzeret. Turn Pentad Prism into a 5-5. Five five. Uh, zero Tezzeret. Take a Welding Jar. Go to combat. Kill Ashiok. A uh, polluted delta, pithing needle. On the Royal Zions. Can it stick for once? <laughs> Pass the turn. The bad news is, if our opponent can uh, bounce this one more time, they do get to ultimate, which is kind of a lot of damage. Renin 6, okay. Renin 6 is not a huge issue. Going to get back a land. Oh, I guess this can let our opponent. Mm, uh, all right, plays Water Log Grove. Gets Yarion. Well, crack polluter delta. Watery grave. Untapped. Make a goat. Not seductive. Pass the turn. Uh, Alright, so what's our plan now? Let's Astrolabe. Draw a card. Ooh. Ooh, big Tezzeret. Uh, let's sack the goat to get back Pithing Needle. Tezzeret. Negative one get a Nile spell bomb. Tezzeret. What is our new Astrolabe? Okay. Uh, Tezzeret. Turn on Astrolabe. Go to combat. Ren in six. Hit our opponent. Pithing Needle. And we're just going to name Royal Scions again. I feel like if we get to... If we get to untap here, we should be good. So this means our opponent would need two Cryptics or Ashioks to ultimate this Royal Scions. And that's the one way I could see us losing, is, like, somehow ultimate Royal Scions and go from there. Yarion. Yeah, Yarion feels a lot uh, a lot less powerful now that it costs three mana. Blanks to draw one. Plays a land. Well, we untap. We draw Watery Grave. Well, Tezzeret. Turn on Astrolabe. Go to combat. Everything at our opponent. Technically, our opponent can chump. However, I think this still works. Opponent goes to one, and now we get to uh, Tezzeret. Can't tap this. Oh, they have the force negation. All right, so opponent does stay alive. Uh, we will watery grave, untapped. Tezzeret, negative one. Get an astrolabe. Ooh, mystical view is actually a good draw. Pass the turn. All right, so opponent had the one card that let them stay alive there because they couldn't tap their batter or crack their fetch lad so i needed force of negation blue card and they had it but i'm still not sure this gets them out of it and opponent scoops it up all right tesseract's too much value too much value for new yarion Whew. all right well i mean that was uh that was some good tesseract value i mean we won 
exclusively because of Tezzeret, which, eh, that's what you want your Planeswalker tribal deck to do. Sweet, sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some Tezzeret tribal in modern, and we got to turn three Tezzeret. That's something. We are on the draw. Opponent, stop. Oh, aggro. Are we getting aggroed? Yeah, we're getting aggroed. All right. Wild McCoddle. Well, so what we're going to need to do is hopefully... Hmm. Well, Polluted Delta, go. Well, I guess we can make a 5-5 five five to block. Probably long-term, we're going to need the Ensnaring Bridge. That's probably our our best long-term out here. But we can Pentad Prism into Tezzeret, make it a 5-5, five five and start blocking. Opponent cracks. Um, sure. We'll see. We'll see if it's fast enough. I would feel much uh, more confident if we were on the play rather than the draw. Uh, opponent gets and hits us. Well, we will crack. Grab a watery grave tap. Untap. <laughs> Big Tezzeret. All right, well, play the land, run out Pentad Prism, and pass the turn. And we get Helix. Actually, maybe we should Welding Jar, too. I think we should play Welding Jar. Uh, we'll see if it's fast enough. It's going to be close. It's going to be super close. Bout it. Arid Mesa. Cracks it. So we're going to 10 for sure. Ooh, going to 8. Opponent combat. Hits us. Goblin Guide gives us something. Nile Spell Bomb. <laughs> okay, that's not super helpful. Oh, no. Not a Tarkus Command. Ugh. 10. Oh, we're too... Okay. Yeah, so I think we're actually just dead now. We go to three. I don't even know if we play Tezzeret. I don't think there's any way. There's no way we can win from here. We draw the Nile Spell Bomb. Yeah, we're just going to concede. Like, we could Tezzeret make a blocker, but we're still going to one. We need two more turns to play Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. So I think I'd rather just not show our opponent that we're Tezzeret Tribal. Because our odds of winning are pretty close to 0%. Well, all right. Dead of Winners in, for sure. I guess Dragons? Well, actually, Dead of Winners, Engineered Explosives, Chalice of the Void. We'll go down the two Thought Seizes. We'll go down Nile Spellbomb in Pything Needle. <laughs> um, bring in Welding Jar for the Crucible. This might not be a good Possessed Portal matchup. Ah, oh, it's so cool, but yeah, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down the portal for the Dragon's Claw, and eh, run it like that. Get a little faster, hopefully. All right, we will play first. Hmm. Well, we're not especially close to playing a Tezzerat. However, we can play Chalice on one, and that does seem decent against our opponent's deck. Uh, so Urborg, go. Copperline Gorge for our opponent and Goblin Guide. Give us some lands, give us some lands, and please not one drops, because they're going to get countered. Opponent gets in. Oh, all right. So many Tesserats, so little mana. Well, in Chalice we trust. Yeah, down to eight, dude. Well, all right. Play Field of Ruin. Play Welding Jar. Chalice. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Water fails, cracks it. Come on. All one drops. No two drops. No two drops, please. Sagred Foundry. Untapped. Combat. Oh, we really need lands. We really, really, really need lands. Goblin Guide gives us. All right, that's a land. Heading in the right direction. Doing it. Yeah, down to 16. I mean, we have almost infinite Tezzerads. <laughs> Eidolon. Okay, so that's a two drop. Thankfully, our hand is so expensive that it doesn't actually kill us. Nothing that costs three or less year about it. <laughs> oh, that costs three or less. Well, polluted delta. I think we just pass. We can see what Goblin Guide reveals. If it's not a, I mean, if it's a land, great. If it's a non-land, we can Field of Ruin to shuffle. We need to start getting down Tezzerats before we die. Opponent combat gets in. Top card. Engineered explosives. Hmm. Well. Yeah, let's shuffle. We need a land. Lightning. Ugh. Boy, this chalice has not been has not been great. Not great enough. Down to thirteen. Snow covered island. Well, this is uh, the turn of truth. 
If we draw land, we have a shot. We go to nine. If we don't draw land, we have almost no shot. Opponent passes. And land? Ugh. All right. Well, that's not the land we wanted, but it might be the land we deserve. Um, We will play <sighs> Tezzeret the Schemer. Kill Eidolon. Pass the turn. Ooh, we saw Tarka's command and Lightning Helix, so we know there is two mana burn in the deck. Uh, boot it. Uh, taps. Land. Come on. No two drops. All Ooh, that's not good. Why do they need to crack their land? <laughs> Sacred Foundry untapped. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chalice, got him. <laughs> We're okay with this. Wait, are they, are they going to surge a Bushwhacker? Okay. No Bushwhacker. Okay. Okay. Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. Phone it. <laughs> Where's Goblin Guide going? Boy, is this one ch Oh, no, no attacks even. Opponent doesn't even want to attack. I don't know if that was intentional, so we don't get a land or a punt, but... Opponent, another Eidolon. Passes. Well, Tezzeret. Kill Eidolon. Polluted Delta. Play Tezzeret. Make Welding Jar 5-5. Five, five. And pass the turn. Wow, are we stabilizing? Is this one chalice actually going to be enough? <laughs> I mean, Tesserets do do a little bit of everything. Opponent cracks. Goes to combat. Passes. Okay. Well, it's time for more Tesserets. We will tick up Tesseret. We will use the mana from Tesseret to cast a Tesseret. <laughs> Plays Walker deck Tesseret for the win. Tick it up. Play Darksteel Citadel. Turn on Darksteel Citadel. Get in with Welding Jar. Opponent down to nine. Oh, our trusted Chalice might be rewarded. Pwn it. Passes. Oh, play the land. Take down Tesseret. Drain our opponent. Turn on Chalice. Go to combat. Attack. <laughs> the Master of Metal win? <laughs> <laughs> Tetherets! All right, coming through. Wow, that Chalice of Void. It was enough? Like, that actually was enough. Our one of sideboard Chalice. Wow, that really saved our day. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess. Actually, Witchbane Orb seems really good. We probably should have brought that in before. Let's go up the Witchbane Orb, go down. Oh, it probably should be. I actually probably should be expensive Tetheret. Because this bridge might actually be important to our plans. Actually, let's go down. Ugh, do we go down expensive? All right, we'll go down the expensive. You got your chance to shine, Tesseret Master of Metal. You already had your chance to shine. Ooh. Boy, this has all of our sideboard cards, but no mana. We can't even cast this Astrolabe. Dragon's Claw and Witchbane Orb, though. We got a mulligan. Not enough mana to do anything. Unless hand is a lot less exciting, but we will keep it. We will put Ghost Quarter to the bottom. All right, see what happens. Gonna need to draw some Tezzerets, I think. <laughs> that's always that's always our answer. More Tezzerets, wildest Nicodle. Sure, Engineer Explosives could be good. Welding Jar. Well, Prismatic Vista. Crack it. Snow Covered Island. Astrolabe. <laughs> Bottle Colster. All right, that might be a, a bit on the slow side, but we'll see. Pass the turn. Yeah, gonna have to have removal or something. Bone it. Goblin Guide. All right, here comes the dorks. What's on top of our deck? Eh, okay. Land. That's fine. Down to 15. Less fine. Tezzerat. Tezzerat's decent. We will play Snow Covered Island. Filter. Play a Prism. Pass the turn. Well, if we don't draw anything better, we can... Tezzeret the Schemer and start killing things. Hopefully our opponent doesn't draw a land this turn. Opponent, Lava Spike. So we're down to 12. Down to 8? Ooh, we'll see. Opponent gets in. Top of our deck. Reveals a Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. Close to being good. We're down to 8. Opponent passes. Oh, play cards Bastion. Play... Tezzeret the Schemer. Kill the Nicodle. Pass the turn. Ooh. Vote it. Adapts. Combat. Going face. Top card. Snow-covered island. 
Oh, and bolts the Tezzeret. Uh-oh. We actually needed that mana. That's the biggest issue. Opponent passes. Ooh, Tezzeret Agent and Bolus. That's a draw. That's a good draw. So we will... We're at six? Play Tezzeret. Oh, we gotta play a land. Uh, play Snow Covered Eyelid. Play Tezzeret. Make Welding Jar into a blocker. Pass the turn. I mean, next turn, if we could get down... If we can get down Master of the Bridge, we get to start gaining life. And that could stabilize us. No land, no land. One more turn. One more turn, no land. Pwned it. Draws. Oh, it's land. That means we're dead to double bolt. Pwned it. Cracks. Well, we'll see. We will see. What do you got, Pwned it? Sacred Foundry. Untapped down to 15. One bolt. Oh. Wow. All right. Oh, wow, we were so close. Well, I don't know if we got unlucky because our opponent top decked the land the turn before we were going to start gaining, you know, you know, three to five life a turn and put the game away. Or if we got lucky that our opponent kept a one lander and didn't draw a land for the first few turns. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, all right, on to the next. All right. Uh. Against the odds time, we are playing Tezzeret Tribal, and uh, we got Tezzerets. We have many Tezzerets. Unfortunately, we don't have any ramp, so the Tezzerets may come slowly, but they will come eventually. Um, hmm. Um, Polluter Delta, go. I guess our opponent playing a control deck would probably be a positive for us. Opponent cracks. Opponent, tap land, well, crack Polluter Delta. Grab a watery grave tapped. Oh, yep. Uh, yeah, let's just watery grave tapped. Well, look out. Starting on turn four, <laughs> we're going to play a lot of Tezzerets, and they're probably all going to get countered, but we're going to try to cast them. Opponent Field of Ruin. Sure. Passes. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, well, that's Prismatic Vista. Crack it. We're going to run out this Crucible. If it gets countered, that's actually clearing the way for Tezzeret next turn. Crucible. Ooh, res okay. Well, that is glorious news. If our opponent doesn't have counters, that is great. Sure, put a land in our graveyard for us, opponent. We appreciate it. Yeah, it looks like opponent's blue-black something. Mute vault. Opponent passes. Oh, so many Tezzerets. Well, we will play Polluted Delta. We will crack Polluted Delta. We'll get a snow-covered eyelid. We will play Tezzeret Part 1. One of four in hand. Do you have a counter? All right. Counter draw. Yeah. So, well, first Tezzeret dealt with. Polluter Delta for our opponent. Passes. Um, Polluter Delta. Crack Polluter Delta. Snow-covered swamp. And let's go with... Eh, yeah, let's go with Tezzeret 2. Tezzeret Artifice Master. How many... Mismatch cryptics do you got, opponent? Come on now. Come on now. Well, this is getting a little bit disappointing. Opponent. Cryptic number two. Sunken ruins for our opponent. Holy cri If this is Snapcaster cryptic, well, that doesn't do a whole lot. Guess what, opponent? We have Tezzerets. We have many, many Tezzerets. Opponent passes. Well, Tezzeret number three. Really? Oh my god! Cryptic three. Wow, that's unfortunate. Past the turn. Okay, this is getting this is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> Phone it, passing. This is gonna be Snapcaster Cryptic, isn't it? It is. It almost certainly is. All right, new plan. Field of Ruin. We're gonna start attacking our opponent's mana. Hit your creeping tar pit. Opponent's going to float mana. We'll get a land out of our deck. Post combat main phase. Bottle Colster. Cryptic four! Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, so our opponent, we had all the Tezzerets we could possibly want, but good lord, does our opponent have cryptics? I don't know if I've ever seen such a thing. Okay. Cryptic number four. This is a, this is a lot. This is a very high number of cryptics. If they have another Snapcaster for cryptic, I might, I might just quit magic. That might be the end. Um... Oh, Field of Ruin. 
blow up Muta Vault. Opponent's going to float mana. We'll get a snow-covered island. How long until we run them out of basics? Not yet. Um, well, all right. Second main. We are going to try it again. Tezzeret. Oh, come on. Tell me this is not actually really going to happen. Oh, my... <laughs> The funny thing is, if a single one of these Tesserets resolve, we'd win the game. But our opponent, Cryptic number five! Five! Opponent is living the ultimate, just the ultimate dream. Opponent. Serum Visions. Oh my goodness. That's insane. That is, uh, that is definitely insane. Leaves a card on top. I'm sure it's a Cryptic. Plays a Bitter Blossom. Opponent. Goes attacking. Hits us. We untap. Now we draw Nile Spellbomb. Oh, well, play Nile Spellbomb. That would have been good two cryptics ago. Opponent has Spell Stutter Sprite. Well, we will play Executioner's Capsule. We will play Field of Ruin. We will Engineered Explosives X2. Resolves. We will Crack Engineered Explosives. We will Field of Ruin our opponent. Out of lands. Opponent, do they still have lands? They do. Oh, pass the turn. <laughs> what a awkward number of cryptics that have been cast. Opponent runs out Brazen Borrower to keep the clock going. Untaps. Plays a Muta Vault. Goes to combat. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to seven. We untap. We draw more lands. We play Field of Ruin. We Field of Ruin Muta Vault. Still no lands. Oh my god, they still have lands! <laughs> oh, this has been a disaster on so many levels. Potent goes to combat. Well, we will execute Brazen Borrower. Opponent, Liliana. Takes up. We discard. Well, come on, Tezzerats, and please for once resolve. Discard's a fatal push. Mm, let's think about this. Opponent has a one. Oh, play Tezzerat. Negative one Tezzerat. Pithing Needle. On Liliana of the Veil. Get back Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. We will Field of Ruin. Sooner or later! Our opponent's not going to have basics left. One of these days, I swear. We did finally resolve a Tezzeret. Ha! All right, opponent's out of basics. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Opponent's passing. I'll play Karn's Bastion. Proliferate. Add a counter to Tezzeret. Tezzeret, negative three. Get in Snaring Bridge. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Passes. Oh, play Astrolabe. Draw a card. I mean, we're going for it. We're definitely going for it. Um, Tesseret? Opponent drew a counter. Well, in that case, we will zero Tesseret. Get a Welding Jar. Dark Steel Citadel. Pass the turn. We want to get empty handed because of. because of this ensnaring bridge. Pwn it. Ops. Well, this deck has a lot of counters that we've learned. To the bottom. Opponent plays a land. Passes. Well, let's try it again. Tezzeret. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can 14 our opponent? Eight. 16 our opponent? Oh, play Dark Seal Citadel. Proliferate. And it post scoops it up? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! We got Cryptic five times! Five times! Four of them on Tezzeret's, and we won! We won! <laughs> that was... That was pretty spectacular. That is not something you would expect to happen uh, very often, to get hit by that many cryptics and still win. So why don't we learn this week about Tezzeret Tribal in Modern. And first off, we ended up losing that last match against Fairies. Uh, we beat all the cryptics in game one, but the cryptics got us in games two or games three. It went on super long, and it was essentially just like our opponent crypting us a million times, countering our spells a million times. So nothing really happened until they eventually like beat us out with Sap 
podcasters. So, yes, we lost that. It wasn't very entertaining, though. So decided to end on the high note of beating the five cryptic commands. But counting that as a loss, which it was, that means our overall record was Tezzeret's was 3-2, and two, so 60% win percentage, which... Eh, I mean, pretty reasonable, not insane, but very functional. And more importantly, we got some awesome Tezzeret wins. We got the triple drain kill with three different Tezzerets on the same turn, all draining our opponent to win the game out of nowhere. We got some just value-y Tezzeret plans where we're like killing stuff and tutoring out artifacts. Ensnaring Bridge, obviously very important to keeping us alive and protecting our Tezzerets. But I love the synergy that, it never actually came up, but being able to like get Throne of Geth to sacrifice it to then beat down with our 5-5 artifacts. If there's anything I'm disappointed about, it's that we never got the possessed portal kill. Honestly, that's probably too cute for its own good. Uh, I just really wanted to pull it off because I thought it would be awesome, but we never actually drew it even and definitely never got to cast it. Eight mana's a ton, but the deck was functional. It felt good. It played good. Tezzerets are awesome. Even the Planeswalker Tezzeret can be awesome. So, I don't know. This was a really fun deck, and I'm glad it was because I love Tezzerets. Tezzerets is like tier one as far as my planeswalker love in general. Vetser's number one, but right behind Vetser comes Tezzeret in terms of planeswalkers. So it was sweet to see Tezzerets do their thing. They're really powerful. They work really well together. And the deck, it was it was definitely sweet. At least I thought so. And hopefully you thought so as well. So anyway, that's been our against the odds for this week. Tezzeret Tribal for Modern. If you're waiting for the poll winner from last week, Vad Rock Chance for Glory, don't worry, that's coming next episode. So until then, have a wonderful week. Enjoy M21 spoilers, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.